All right, Daniel, we are here at the WSOP 2018. How was that series for you? It's been a rough series, you know. You come in here every year, you want to win a bracelet. So far, it hasn't happened, but the good news is we still have a few left and, the, of course, the big million-dollar one drop. You work hard in your game before the WSOP. How do you do that? I work by, you know, training with a couple guys who understand some game theory and different things that is, like, new to me. You know, I grew up old school. You look at a guy, you think he's bluffing. Um, but, you know, they come with a little bit more, like, fundamental understanding. So I spent three months working on that, and it's really been helpful. One thing many people don't get it. Are you friends with Phil Helmuth? You don't like him? What's the deal? I like Phil Helmuth, but I also don't really, like, feel like I have to just agree with everything he says. Like, he says really crazy things all the time, right? So I make fun of him because it's so easy. <laughs> you know, it's almost too easy to make fun of the guy. But I like him. I mean, I think he's got, a, you know, he's got good intentions, good heart. He just says really crazy things. What's your thoughts on the changes the WSOP made to the player of the year formula? Honestly, I think they were good. I saw them before the, the series. I didn't really look too deeply into it because it sort of like disassociated my mind from it. I'm like, okay, they're going to do what they're going to do. And if I want to chase it, I'll have to play the gimmicky events. And I don't really want to do that. So I'll focus on trying to win a bracelet. You're doing a daily vlog. How does that influence your routine here? Honestly, doing the vlog doesn't really have much impact because it's like, okay, I go on break, just put the phone up, and then I can vent, you know, to the, to the camera. Every once in a while I see something funny, I do it. This is the second year in a row I've done it. So it's not like a lot of people saying, oh, the vlog is, you know, making you run bad. I'm like, no, it isn't. It's fine. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Phil Ivey coming back to the WSOP? Super happy to see Phil Ivey back. I think poker needs guys like him to be playing a regular schedule because, like, He's, he's a real name, you know, he's a legend. Like people tune in to watch Phil Ivey a lot more than maybe some of the younger guys who are just up and coming. Last one, uh, what's your thoughts on Chris Ferguson and his apology to the poker community? I thought it was weak. I mean, I think like if you wait seven years to come out with an apology to the community, one where it's like he apologized for something that wasn't even what people were upset about. He's like, I'm sorry I couldn't stop Black Friday. We're like, we're fine with that. Neither could, you know, poker stars on East Side, but you know, they found a way to pay their players. We're sorry that, you know, what you need to be sorry about is your role in the fact that you, despite saying your player funds were segregated, they weren't. And then when you needed to pay the people, they weren't there. So I thought it was, it was almost like he was a, in a hostage situation where he was reading you know, what he had to read. So I thought it was just too little too late.